Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another video. It's kind of dark and spooky right now. So I've got a little bit of a light helping me, but it's not that much. So anyway, today we're talking about worldview and why it's important. So I came across this video of Kirk Cameron and others doing street evangelism and Kirk is asking this gentleman in the gray shirt, you know, different questions about his worldview or his, his belief system. And his belief system is one of self is God. You can do whatever you want because you have the, you have the will to do it. So whatever you want to do is fine. However you spin it is fine. However you do things is fine. Right? So I just want to play this. Let me see. Let me, let's play this. I hope it's in the right spot. By the people who taught you what you now believe. It makes sense to me, so that's why I believe this. So is truth uh, something relative? Like, to him, it hits him that, man, you know what? I just don't believe that that there, that anything happens after you die other than you I energy gets re... I he believes, re he believes because he hasn't researched what I researched. So you researched more than him. I, I did. I researched YouTube, Google, and I found out all this. I read books. Do you know what the best-selling book of all time in the whole world ever is? Uh, no, I don't. Is the Bible. Have you ever read that? Oh, yes. No, actually, I haven't read it. I, I, I've heard of it. I haven't read it, though. What's written on your neck there, that tattoo? Uh, play at your own risk. I'll be very careful. Oh, I went too far so back. Sorry. Here it earth. comes. I mean, Hitler did just what he wanted to do. No, and I, don't think, I don't think it matters. I think we have free will of anything. There's no good or bad. But karma does exist. So whatever you do, it comes back to you. So you think it's okay to rape little children for fun? Yes, I think it's okay. I, I think it's fine. Oh, Will, we have total will. We can do whatever we want. That's why, you know, we're here. All right, let me ask you. If you, if you, if you had kids, would you let him babysit your kid? I mean, I think, I, I, maybe he needs to rephrase what he said. I, I, I'll say right now, I definitely don't well, think he's being he's being he, Well, he's being consistent. We can do whatever we want, whatever we choose to. And it's all okay? And it's all okay. So you think what Hitler did really wasn't wrong? He thinks it was great. Some people are, I'm saying you, you don't think what he did was wrong. I think what he did was wrong. How, how could it be really wrong if he just wanted to do it because you said you could do anything? Well, people, you know, they live different you said you don't like. You said you don't like it. Yeah, that was his will, you know, he, it was his choice. But it wasn't really wrong. It wasn't really wrong because there is no good or wrong. Have you ever told that to a Jewish person? No. Don't. <laughs> that one, so okay, so this is why somebody's worldview is so important. And I know um, the decisions that they make will be based on it. Okay. What is someone's worldview? What informs their decisions? Is it static or is it dynamic? This guy is dynamic. It's just based on whatever he thinks. And he thinks that that's fine for people to do things because there is no right and wrong. So if there is no right and wrong, I can't say anything's wrong. I can only say that I wouldn't have done that. Well, why wouldn't you have done that? Because I don't think it's the right thing to do. So it, as you go down this road, as you talk to people, which I encourage you to do, talk to everybody, every, anybody who has a different worldview than you, talk to them. I do it all the time. Well, as much as I can anyway, and just try to figure out how they determine things. And for me, it's come down to three different things. Either it's illegal, it's something the culture just doesn't like if it's not illegal, or it's just something that hurt a lot of people. So of course we don't want to do that. Now how they base pain, how they base hurt, how they base all that. It's just based on what they've already learned in a Christian sort of esque society that we have here in America. So, you know, does it change? His is, his does his change is based on whatever it is he wants to have happen basically. Uh, so Christianity is static. That's why we can base things on it. That's why we can, have um, steady home, steady relationships if you're, you know, living it correctly. Um, <clears throat> you know, in, in any situation, it's not okay to steal. You know, God says, you know, if you're stealing because you're hungry, stop stealing and go get a job. Do some work and then buy your food. Okay. It's not in any, in any situation, it's not okay to be jealous of what others have. You have what you have because of the work that you did, because of the place that you are. If you want more, then you need to work more, put yourself in a different place, make it happen, make it different. Go to God, go to your, you know, and, and ask him where he, where you should go to get these things. 
Maybe you shouldn't have it right now because you can't handle it. There's sometimes that's true. Okay. It's not okay in any situation to harm children. All right. So like he's talking about, it's fine. You can do whatever you want to kids, to anybody. Okay. Our standards of living is what we allow. And they, it comes from this basic belief system inside each of us where we, if we can say that it's okay to do that and be consistent in that area the way he was, then we have to really ask ourselves, well, you know, if somebody did that to me, would it be okay? What's your belief system? Is it okay to do certain things? You know, what honestly is your belief system? What would you allow to have to happen in front of you? So a lot of times that'll tell you a lot about yourself, what you just let happen, what you let other people do in front of you. We've seen a lot of people in this mask thing not not be okay with people using their free will to not wear masks. Okay, not being okay with that. Stopping people in grocery stores, surrounding them and making them wear one. Because their belief system says it's okay to do that. Okay, and that's not okay. That's not okay in the Christian mindset. You don't get to do that. You don't get to f bully people. You don't get to force people and things like that. So, I, I mean, I don't know, guys. What's your, what's your worldview? Mine is Christianity. Mine's Christian. It's static. It is the way it is. It's always been that way. Every time we find older scrolls, it says the same thing. So, for centuries and centuries, it hasn't changed. So, I, don't know, I just wanted to leave that with you guys. Worldview matters. Who you hang out with matters because they can a lot of times change what you think. So, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Give it some thought. What's your worldview? Does it matter what worldview is dominant to your life? You know what I mean? All right. Thanks for joining me. Remember to pray and read your Bible, guys. And as always, if you liked it, share. If you didn't, let me know how dumb I am in the comments. Bye.